Happy New Year's Eve. I'm not sure why I'm starting these vlogs with the shower, but that's just how my day is starting. Um, my hair is falling out like crazy. It's awful. There's like handfuls of it in the shower. Um, it's practically like a wig falling off of my head. We have a lot planned for today because it's the first day in like five days that the kids are actually feeling better. So on Monday, which was two days after Christmas, the kids got sick. And I mean like sick, like fevers and we had some stomach stuff and coughs and colds and all that stuff. We are fever free, but I'm not really feeling like we can go out and do stuff outside of the house yet. So Mark is picking up some stuff for us to do like a little New Year's Eve party. The kids actually got to help plan our party. Do you want to show them the list that you guys made? Uh -huh. Yeah, we need a plan. Well, oh, I made it. I made it with my old The name of Apple Orange. Oh, is that fruit that you guys want? Yes. Okay, and vegetables, peas, and green beans. Uh-huh. Because those are the Ice only burgers. vegetables we like. Cooked food, steak, steak pizza. pizza. This was chicken, but they crossed it out because we weren't going to make that many things. And then candy, icebreakers. Lollipop, gummy bear, cotton candy, Jolly Rancher. Jolly Rancher, chocolate, chocolate soccer, gummy bear. And that was bean. a jelly bean. We're um, not going to do uh, those, though, because, well, there's we're not doing a lot of the candy since you guys have been sick, huh? But these are what you guys wanted. Nerds. And what is this, Liam? Gummy rope. No, it's a, gummy a nerd's rope. gummy rope. Lego candy. Ice cream. Ice cream and popsicles. Goodness. No, it's gummy crushes. Don't forget that. We also can't find the brush, so don't mind little one's hair. <laughs> Mark's on his way home. He should already be done grocery shopping. Um, it's it's one o'clock already, which is crazy. It seems like this day has already flown by. Are you excited for tonight? Yes! Okay, so what we need to do though is something that I like to do every New Year's Eve and that's clean the house. I feel like after Christmas the house just needs a really thorough cleaning and I like to go in the New Year's with a clean house. Also, isn't there like some kind of um, like, I don't know, some not like curse, but it's like bad luck to do certain things on New Year's. I don't know if it New Year's Day or New Year's Eve, but I've heard that there are some things you're not supposed to do. We have nasty coughs. I'm not really superstitious, but I do like having a clean house the day before New Year's just to have a clean slate. And it's been a while since I've done all the dishes. Those are clean. Those are dirty. There's stuff all over the stairs. There's stuff all over the counters. There's stuff all over the kids' room, <laughs> the table. Um, it's just a mess, and so we're gonna clean up and get everything swept, mopped, wiped down, all that kind of stuff, especially after you've been sick. You just want everything clean. Um, the kids are finally feeling well enough for me to like not have 100% of my attention on them, um, and I can just kind of like put the, a movie on, which they're watching right now, and I can focus on cleaning. I also have a little surprise for them. So they really wanted cotton candy and I didn't want to give them very many sweets. And so I told them no. Um, I think I only said like one candy or something like that, which is candy we already have from Christmas. Um, but I want to do these like special fun drinks with cotton candy. And so we'll see. Hopefully Mark was able to find everything. Um, but I think it's going to be a fun surprise for them. If you have kids, do you also struggle with this? Look at that. My mirrors are so dirty, like all the time. It's almost seven o'clock. Ella is sick still, unfortunately. So she's watching TV. So the kids don't know this, but we're changing the clocks. Um, I gotta get up on this loft. Um, ugh, it's kind of scary up here. But Liam has a clock up here. And so I gotta change it. Um, because he's going to see it when he goes to bed, that it's not actually midnight. So it's his bookmark that he got for Christmas, and so I would think it would be in one of the books, but his thing up here is kind of messy. I'm going to have to climb all the way on his bed. Well, I didn't find it, but I did find some chocolate, which is not allowed on the bed. Well, let's just hope that he doesn't see it, um, because I can't find it. 
Whew, that's high. We have the babies. Right. <coughs> what vegetable is your favorite? We forgot about mashed potatoes. Do you like them? Yeah, we gave me. What did you do, Liam? Tell me that I was grill. What did you guys grill out there? We grilled nothing. What? We were cleaning it. Oh, there's steak that you guys grilled, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow. So there's and your bookmark. Light. Was it on Ella's bed? My bed. That's kind of cool. We played it for a few minutes. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Potato master. Okay, oh, we need okay. one more. Batch two. All right, now you gotta stir it real quick. Stir, stir, stir. Well, we don't, we don't usually do um, these kind of mashed potatoes, but the last couple of weeks the kids have been liking it, and it's been nice and easy. So, isn't there like different things for New Year's that you like can't do or have to do that it's supposed to bring you good luck for the year? I feel like there's like there's some weird traditions that other people have. I know, but I feel like that there are like some big ones like not cleaning or like doing laundry or something. Oh, you don't clean on New Year's Day. On New Year's yeah, Day so. is what it is. Is and it? Then, go ahead. And then there's like foods and things like that, right? Black eyed peas on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day is supposed yeah. to bring you good luck. I've never eaten black eyed peas and I will or to rephrase, never yeah. eaten them willingly on New Year's Day and I will stay that way. I got the oh. Day. Anyway, I wonder how many traditions we should look them up. Okay, we're gonna do a craft now, okay? Yeah! Oh, yeah okay, go. you guys get to make those face mask things. Yes, I Well, it's this kind of face mask, not the other kind, huh? Uh, uh. <laughs> Wait, can I can actually see. I see you. Purple's That's gorgeous. Color. Yeah, you got a purple knife. Purple? No, what Jose? Um, These I'm are miss cute. Oh, wait, my kid. These two fell asleep early. Next activity is Play Doh. Yes. Yeah. Help. Hope you like play doh Poor baby did not like that. Huh. You did not like that. It really is almost midnight now. <laughs> now. Uh, our clock still says three hours fast, so it says it's 2.45, even though it's 11.45. Um, and Brilliant. we need to change the clock on Liam's little bookmark here because it's also incorrect. I've already updated my phone again because I have that I didn't change well. my phone. I couldn't figure out how to do it. Settings. And I, I searched know. date and time, and it popped up. Oh. I don't know how to search on my phone. I'll show you. Okay. Anyway, so we had a lot of fun with the kids, actually. Yeah, it's we a good did, time. I actually had a few more things planned. We were going to, like, watch a movie and do popcorn and stuff, which we didn't. But it was okay. Ella still isn't feeling well. Um, she's been kind of on and off with a fever all day. And this evening, it just kind of hit her hard. And she was just sleepy and wanted to go to sleep. And so we just, like, I just let the kids play. They found um, the Play-Doh that I was going to do for Christmas and then yeah. ended up not giving it to them. So it worked out perfect. They just wanted to play Play-Doh and we did a few crafts and that fun little drink thing. Oh gosh, yeah. 
Um, and I think they had a good time and they went to bed pretty easily. Like the new year, like what you are and aren't supposed to do. Oh, like why would you look up you know what I mean? Superstitions like, of things that could go wrong was my first thought. No, <laughs> like, no. no, we've already had two years of this crap. No yeah, more. No, no, we're good. Um, so I, I don't think we're going to tonight because I'm too tired. So post below what those, if you have any or if you know of any or follow them. Um, I know your mom does the black eyed peas. Yeah. Uh, I think a couple years ago I heard you're not supposed to like do laundry because it washes away good luck or something like that. I just think that's lazy. But <laughs> I probably won't do laundry tomorrow because it's raining. It's supposed to be raining all day tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah. And I don't want to walk laundry over to the laundromat that's down the street. No. Anyway, so that's not really a worry. No. Nope. Um, but I probably will clean and organize tomorrow just because I didn't get it all done today. Um, I'm off tomorrow. We have five minutes before till the new year. This year we have moved to Texas. You've gotten... A new job. You finished school. Well, you finished school first. Mm -hmm. We moved, moved to Galveston. Gal to Texas. Yeah, we moved to an island in Texas. Second, and then you applied for a ton of jobs, and then you got a job. We moved to Columbia, Missouri, and then you got this job here in Springfield, mm -hmm. Missouri. We had a baby. That's crazy. Yeah, it's been a been a year. It has. Wow. Bring on 2022. It's just going to get better. It will. We're going to buy a house this year. Yes, we will. That'll be exciting. One way or the other. All right. Good night, guys. Night. Happy New Year's. We have six minutes. We're going to enjoy it together. Four minutes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's off. Oops. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year.